wasting money here. Today we're going to be opening up one of my Grails, uh, Goku Grail. Let me know in the comments now if you think you know what this figure is, but it's <laughs> it's been on my list for a while. It's the most expensive uh, SH fig art that I've bought thus far. Um, it did come new. It's still in this packaging here, but before we open this up, I want to just ask everyone to give a like on this video and make sure you are subscribed. It definitely helps out the channel. And we're trying to get to 15,000 subscribers before the end of the year here, which I think we can definitely do. And one to mention as well, if you do like the shout outs at the beginning, uh, <laughs> the spots for those fill up really quick. So make sure you have those notification bells on. Um, I only take the first eight people that ask for the shout out at that beginning kind of intro area. But with that being said, let's get into this figure here and... So we got Sun Goku Ultra Instinct Sign. Now, this is the uh, Japanese version. So in the US, it is an event exclusive. I believe in Japan, it was an event exclusive as well. But you could really only get it if you won some type of lottery. I don't even know what to say, Goku! <laughs> I'm not sure exactly how it worked in Japan, but this one has the normal box, unlike the event exclusive. And I will admit I'm a little <laughs> OCD with a few things. So I just like the look of the original box. I mean, going on the shelf and everything, it'll look awesome, you know, next to some of the other Gokus and everything. But let's just kind of look at the packaging before we open this up here. So I bought it off eBay for about 165 US. Um, it was, you know, free shipping and everything, and it did come sealed with the shipper. Now I can kind of flip that around since, you know, we know it's the Ultra Instinct Sign Goku as well. So really excited to get this one open. I've been wanting it for a long time uh, just because of the outfit. You know, I mean, there's so many applications for this kind of battle damage Goku. I mean, you could do like a Goku where he was fighting, you know, Kid Buu at the end, you know, do his like kind of ending spirit bomb type pose. And now I can actually do the uh, shooting pose and everything from <laughs> when, when he's like Super Saiyan God and the battle damage close. So let's, um, let's lay everything out and we can look at the faces and all that and then get into the articulation and the actual review of this pretty sweet looking figure. So yeah, just looking at the faces real quick, he has the closed eyes, you know, when he kind of first turns that Ultra Instinct sign. And I mean, Ultra Instinct sign just means, you know, it's not the full Ultra Instinct. He was just showing signs of that, you know, autonomous Ultra Instinct, which we have both the figures for, the Toyotaro edition and the normal OG one as well. And then, the other face is kind of, you know, like a blast or screaming face. And then he's got his teeth gritted there. I mean, they really did some good details and everything on the eyes. So I really like that. And this is the um, just kind of like normal face as well. Um, so, yeah, everything looks really good. I mean, as far as the hands go, I can just show those real quick. But, I mean, it's a pretty minimal uh, figure for the price but I mean it's definitely <laughs> worth it in my opinion y you'll see I mean there's just so many different applications but as far as the hands go he has the you know kind of Kamehameha hands in the middle there his pose hands and then open blast hands and then the closed grip hands as well so let's take the plastic out here and we can kind of get into some of the articulation. So the uh, the legs and everything feel just like the, uh, you know, the Ultra Instinct Gokus. Um, so nothing too special there. I mean, the articulation and everything feels really good. Uh, I mean, still, you know, bend them up pretty high. I've seen some pictures of him, like, gripping his leg all the way up. I don't know how they did that. Um, maybe they just kind of modded the joints or something. And then the shoes too, I, I feel are really good. So they can bend all the way down. A lot of times, I mean, they don't have that much mobility 
and the the shoes there so I thought that was really cool and then the arms as well I mean it just feels really nice kind of like the uh, Toei Taro edition Ultra Instinct that we reviewed not too long ago uh, the hinge on these arms feel kind of loose and not the best, but I mean, I'll, I'll give it a pass just since this figure looks so awesome. I mean, like I said, I was just really most impressed by just the, um, the outfit, you know, like the battle damaged with the shirt. So, I mean, there's so many different applications for that, like I said. And any like 2.0 uh, Goku head, I mean, you can swap out with this one. So... We'll do that at the end and kind of get some, you know, pretty sweet poses and everything. But looking at the ab crunch, um, it doesn't look <laughs> too good going down. So not too much mobility, unfortunately. I mean, he can go back a bit, but um, the chest isn't wanting to seem to really bend much, if anything. So articulation may not be the best on this figure. Um, I do like the shoulder pads, like they don't seem loose, like on some of the other Goku figures that I've had. Um, so yeah, I mean, all in all, I mean, it feels like a really nice figure. I mainly like it just for the looks and applications, <laughs> again, like I mentioned. And I don't know if you can see this, but his hair, it does kind of have like a, it looks like a kind of like silvery tint. It almost looks purple. Yeah, so I got the lights on and I, I do feel like that looks better. And I was kind of playing around with it too. I just kind of had to pull up his torso a bit so I could get a little bit more bend in there. But yeah, I mean, really nice looking figure. His neck is kind of loose-ish. Um, you know, kind of maybe afraid if I take the head off, sometimes the neck will come with it, but it seems to go on and come off like pretty, pretty easily. So not too bad there. And again, you know, this is the 2.0 Goku body. So any normal like 2.0 Goku head will fit onto this. Yeah, we got his head back on now and you can see better in the light. I mean, his hair is kind of that metallic, almost like a dark blue, like navy blue purple. So it's not quite as blue as his, you know, shirt there, but it's got like a nice little purple tint to it. And then his eyes are the silver, of course. But yeah, I mean, all around a really nice feeling figure. Um, you know, can't bring his legs up as much as I probably would have liked, but I'm sure, you know, once, since it is just kind of brand new, I mean, you kind of got to break some of the figures in. <laughs> You can put them in warm water or, you know, heat them up with a blow dryer and stuff um, just to get some better articulation and everything. But, I mean, he doesn't feel stiff at all, so I do like that in a brand new figure. Some of the figures, you know, you can hear, like, the plastic and everything, like, squeaking when you move it. But, no, all in all, I would say this is a really good figure, and I am definitely happy about it. I wish they would bring the price down, but, I mean, even in Japan, like, with... Even though the box looks normal, it is still considered like an event exclusive for there. And it was pretty hard to get. So I believe they're about the same price. And even if you do get the US version, um, it should be, you know, exactly similar to this uh, Japanese version as well. So um, yeah, I mean, the paint and everything looks really good. I want to slap some different, you know, heads on here <laughs> just so we can get kind of that kid, that kid boo era as well. Um, but yeah, stay tuned till the end. We're going to do all the poses. Uh, I know that that's my favorite part personally. Um, but yeah, just a rating for this figure. I'll probably give it, I mean, this was my Goku grail. Don't get me wrong, but uh, some of the articulation and everything and some of the things like the neck um, just with that gap and everything i mean it doesn't look the best just some of that i mean nitpicking and stuff i'm gonna give it like a 9.3 you know some of the other figures um I, i've rated higher but i mean who knows once we get <laughs> some of the other heads and everything on it um i i mean i just really like the look of it like this is my favorite kind of goku look
just with that battle damage clothing and everything. And I probably would have ranked it higher just if it wasn't so expensive. I mean, paying almost, you know, $200 for just kind of like a minimal Goku figure. I mean, yes, you know, it does look awesome and everything, but you really don't get too much, you know, just like four faces and then four sets of hands, no effect pieces or anything. So um, they do have a demoniacal fit Goku with this clothing and everything. And you do get more with that and it is cheaper. So, I mean, if you can find that on eBay or some of those third party sites, I would maybe recommend that in case, I mean, for, <laughs> for a collector such as myself, you know, I just gotta have the real thing and I'm definitely gonna enjoy this figure and just having it on the shelf and everything. So yeah, I mean, I, I'd say, is it worth 175 up to $200? Probably not, I mean, you know, but it, it's still a great figure, like I said, and it's one of the Ultra Instinct Gokus. So now I can finally say I completed <laughs> the collection. I have Ultra Instinct Sign, I have the OG, and then I have Toyotaro Edition. So we'll see what we're working with and then get into the poses. But until next time, everyone, peace. <laughs>